Welcome back guys to another video and today we're gonna show you how you can export all your data and transactions from coin tracker and import it into coin tracking. It is pretty easy to do, I will teach you step by step how to do that, but a recommendation from my side, just go ahead and import all the data freshly into coin tracking using the APIs and blockchain APIs and importers and CSV to get the most updated version of your portfolio into coin tracking. But now let's dive in into coin tracker, download our CSV file, convert the CSV file to an Excel file, and then convert this Excel file into a template for coin tracking and upload that into coin tracking. It's not that hard as it sounds, so let's dive in. First, we are in our coin tracking dashboard. To get our transactions data, we need to go to transactions and then download the CSV on the right side. This will take up to 30 minutes and I pre-downloaded that so we can continue in the video right away. For the next step, we need to go to coin tracking and download our coin tracking template to insert the data from coin tracker so we can upload that and yeah, the file suits our platform. So we have to go to Android coins, then we have to go to bulk imports, Excel import, and then you scroll down and download the coin tracking Excel import XLS. Once done, you have both your files in the download ordner. Now we have to convert the CSV file to an XLS file and we will simply use an online converter so we can read the data and copy it. So copy paste the data into our coin tracking template. All right, we downloaded our converted spreadsheet and now we can open it up and open up the coin tracking template and the coin tracker converted CSV to XLSX file so we can copy and paste the data we need. On screen, we have now both files open. This is the coin tracker file and I will mark which columns we need to transfer. So we need the date for sure. We need the transaction type. We need the transaction ID, the received quantity, the received currency. Then we have the received wallet address name, which will be the exchange name. Receive address. Then we need to send quantity and send currency. And also the send cost space is not, but the send wallet name, which will also be the exchange name because we are missing it down here. And the fee amount and the fee currency is also important. And if there are any comments, then we can import them as well. All right, these are the columns we need from the coin tracker spreadsheet in the coin tracking spreadsheet. So we have all the information in our account. If you take a look on our coin tracking template, then you will see it is pre-filled already. This is only an example for you. So you know how the transaction types are named and how to pre-fill our data. Let's go ahead and delete all the pre-filled data and insert the coin tracker data into our coin tracking spreadsheet. Now, all we have to do is copy and paste the highlighted columns from the coin tracker spreadsheet into the coin tracking spreadsheet. So we take the date, scroll down, copy it and paste it in the right column for date. And we keep doing that for all the other columns, copy and paste into the coin tracking spreadsheet and then afterwards I will show you how to import them into coin tracking. All right, we have transferred all the coin tracker data from the spreadsheet to the coin tracking spreadsheet. And now we have to switch a few things to make them compatible with our platform. So the transaction type names of coin tracker are a little bit different than the one from coin tracking and as well the exchange names. Coin tracker has different exchange names for KuCoin, but we will just classify them KuCoin and not KuCoin XRP wallet and so on. So we will change that in a spreadsheet right now. So it is matching and works for our platform and coin tracking. So for example, received should be deposit. To change all the received at one time, it's very simple. You just mark the column, go to find and select, go to replace, and then you replace receive and then name it to deposit. And then you click replace all and voila, you changed all the wrong transaction type names to the correct one matching and coin tracking. Now go ahead and change all the wrong transaction type names in the spreadsheet and as well do that for the exchanges. So it named simply KuCoin, Gate.io, Ledger and so on. No specific name behind it like XRP wallet, uh, Stella wallet and so on. All right, once all the data is converted into the right format and into the right naming, we can save our coin tracking template and upload it into coin tracking. So let's do that now. To upload the spreadsheet, we stay on the same site where we downloaded our template. So just simply click choose file and then click the coin tracking XLS. 
continue to import and we see our file here imported. Then we start to import and then coin tracking will confirm the successful import with the big green button here. Excellent import done. Now all the transactions from coin tracker are integrated into our coin tracking account and we can go to enter coins and then we will see all the transactions in our account. Also we can check the balances of the coins so we can go to balance by exchange and then we will see all the exchanges where we had the imports from coin tracker as i said previously we recommend you to import all the data freshly into coin tracking to ensure that you have the correct data in your account so use the apis use the importer use the csv imports we provide and then have everything in your account instead of exporting from coin tracker and importing into coin tracking but we still teach you the way how to do it in case you can't access all transactions anymore so you can export them from coin tracker and import into coin tracking but make sure to check the balances once everything is done you have to recalculate your trades you will see it right here in the window recalculate trades and once this is done your account is up to date the software has calculated all the trades and we can head to the transaction report or generate a report we go to tax report and click that once you're on this side you can scroll down and then you can set your settings for the tax report for our case we was germany method is first in first out tax year is 22 and then you can set some filters and options for your tax report after that scroll down and generate a new tax report now the tax report has been generated you can see today's date is here and we see our total capital gain and if you want to see more information about the tax report simply click load report once done you will have all the details about your report how much capital gains you had how much income you had and all the fancy stuff you can see here if you scroll down you will see more information about your total capital gains about your income about the fees about the lost and stolen coins the closing positions and much more if you need to download your report then simply scroll up and go to download tax report here you have the option to download the tax report as pdf or excel file and then you can submit it or give it to your cpa thank you guys so much for watching if there are any questions please leave them down in the comments we will happily answer them and we hope this video was helpful give the video a like subscribe to the channel and check out all the other videos because we have a lot of tutorials about wallets importers exchanges and so on how to import all in coin tracking see you in the next one bye bye